everybody. Are you ready? Happy Fury Friday! <laughs> oh man, what a week it has been. Already, absolutely crazy. Man. So, actually, the sun is on its way down, but uh, it's actually a clear day. It's just that the wind has blown in a bunch of smoke from the fires over in like Wyoming or something like that, they said. So it's been like a hazy, smoky day. It's been weird, you know? But hey, it's Friday. Yeah, it's awesome. And if you guys have noticed, there's no mirrors on the Fury anymore. Why? Because I wanted to put the ones that were on it that came with it because you can kind of see out of them, right? And, you know, they looked way better than them stupid goofy things that were on it, which are going to go back on it now. Because I put them on and I went to move this one and I kind of got it where I could see. And then I went to move this one and it broke right off. So, that was awesome. So you're going to see me turning my head around a lot. So I know that this Fury Friday thing is kind of taking a turn, right? Because it was, I was putting people on the Fury. And then that worked a couple times, but then trying to line people up with my schedule is almost impossible. So it's just kind of turned into this, uh, into this uh, weekly vlog thing about what's going on in the week, what's coming up in the future, and we've got really nothing coming up. Miss Stevie wants to go do the, bread, the bridges of Madison County, which that sounds cool. So we're gonna do that. We've got some people we're gonna ride with. We've got some other things coming up in a couple weeks that is gonna be really cool. And yeah, so that's it. So that's the that's the that's the update, right? We've been getting asked a lot lately if this bike would be a good first bike. Not necessarily a good first bike, but we are asked that a lot too. But we're also asked if we think that the Fury would be a good bike for somebody who hasn't had a motorcycle for a while and is getting one again. Well, my answer to that is yes. And my answer to the first question is yes. And I'll tell you why. It is because this bike is so forgiving when it comes to simple things like, um, like starting out or, or turning. The, the big thing with starting out, like at a stop or something like that, and somebody who's not used to maybe working the, the clutch and the, and the throttle at the same time, if you let it warm up first anyway, um, the clutch is very simple. And it doesn't take a lot of gas to get it going, so it's kind of hard to kill. But even if you do kill it, you know, it's really, it's no big deal at all, you know. Another thing I mean is that if you're coming up to a stop, and Miss Stevie did this a couple of times when she first got this bike, especially in the driveway, <clears throat> she'd pull into the driveway and go to stop Well, she still had the handlebars turned, right? So what happens if you grab a whole bunch of front brake with the handlebars turned? You're, you're, you're going down, right? Well, Miss Stevie was able to hold this thing up, and I'm looking at her from in the garage, and it's like slow motion, you know, you're trying to, you're trying to run after her, right? You know, like, I will save you! And you can never get there fast enough, no matter how hard you try. And she was able to hold it up. So in that aspect, it's very forgiving, so it's... It's an easy bike to hold up. It's got a really, really low center of gravity. Um, the thing runs just smoother than almost anything. I mean, you're used to the Shake 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 Harley motor, and then you get on one of these, and you're like, is it running? I mean, I can hear it running, but I don't feel it running. Something's not right here. And another thing that makes this a good first bike, especially, is they're not that expensive. I mean, I don't know what everybody's price range is, obviously, but a brand new one of these is $11,000 or like $12,000 or something like that. For a brand new bike like this, you get a 1300 engine and you get the looks of a really, really 
bad to the bone motorcycle. And what are most of us looking for anyway? We're looking for looks. We're looking for cosmetics, right? There's obviously some people out there that don't. They just want speed. And that's fine. I'm kind of an in-betweener on that. I kind of I want a little bit of performance, but I want it to look cool too, you know? I'll give up some performance for like a, a cool sound or or a cool look, you know? I think the way you sit on the bike makes it a good first bike. Now, Miss Stevie did say this. When she rode her soft tail for the first time, her deluxe, she said it was so easy to ride it wasn't even funny. Because she said it turned so much easier than this one does. But she said she didn't know any different, so there was nothing wrong with the Fury, right? We have got uh, some friends, well Russ, you saw Russ at the end of the last video, if you watched the whole thing. Russ and his wife Mindy, they both ride. She started out with a Sportster, and then she moved to a 06 Heritage Standard. I believe I'm getting that right. But she said the same thing, that she rode her Sportster, and then riding that Heritage was really, really easy, right? Because it's easier to ride cruisers you know now this one is extremely easy to ride I will say this one is easier to ride than a Sportster the center of gravity is way lower right but it is a little bit more difficult to turn but if you don't know any better and you learn on this or you, you start riding again on this if someday you would want to upgrade it would make that upgrade easier now, I'm not saying you have to upgrade either, because, I mean, to be honest with you, if this was only my bike and not Miss Stevie's too, I would take these extended foot controls off and put the, the stock foot controls back on. I would move the controls a little bit closer to me, because that would make it more comfortable for me for longer distance, because right now, look, I've got to fold that peg in to get my foot on it. But that's just, that's just me because I'm, I've got a shorter inseam, so I need the controls a little bit closer to me. If they were a little bit closer to me, I think I could ride this bike for a lot longer. But as it is right now, I have to hold my legs on, you know, which is okay for a while. That, that, don't, that don't bug me for a while. But if I was going to ride it, you know, 500 miles, that would wear on me, you know. But, if it fits you well, you can ride these bikes for a really long distance. With the Honda Fury being a big deal on our channel, I hear it a lot that people take these things out all over the place, ride them for long distances, and they have no trouble and it's the best bike they've ever owned. Let me see if I can pull over here and maybe... I don't know how this is going to come across on camera. But... I can almost lean this bike all the way over till it touches and still pull it back up. I can't lean my Road King like this and then just easily pick it back up. Very forgiving. This is a really good bike for an all around deal. And it handles too. It handles good. I have a video on YouTube where my cousin, who is a motors officer, takes this and rides it around like a police bike. Uh, he leans it to the left as far as it will go, he leans it to the right as far as it will go and scrapes and holds it there and turns it and I mean that's stuff I'm never going to have to do but I mean he can do it. I have named this motorcycle my hog my hog and that's the broom broom stick see did you hear that broom broom Dane Cook is awesome very funny person it is uh, 70 degrees out today it's the perfect night for a ride so, okay, so I'm going to give you guys the next reason why you guys should consider buying the Honda Fury.
this puppy is quick. So you guys think of the no mirrors? <laughs> I miss them. I miss them a lot. Like if I was getting pulled over right now, I wouldn't even know it. But I was in a different country there for a little bit, so it's okay. Now, obviously, they don't come with grips like this. They don't come with these forward controls. They come with real blinkers and the uh, 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 halogen headlight. We've changed all that. Put different blinkers on it, different tail lights. We put a different license plate. Well, it came that way with a different license plate holder. It has a different license plate holder from stock, and we changed the rear, the rear tail light and stuff. I should probably just pull over and show you, huh? This is a no-lose bike. You cannot lose buying one of these bikes. I've got a 2016 Road King. And Miss Stevie's got a 2020 Softail Deluxe. That is beautiful. But I tell you right now, we get more compliments when one of us is riding this than we do on those Harleys. see if we have enough light yet we'll do this quick okay so this is our honda fury and man that thing just looks bad to the bone doesn't it like it just like this whole flow it's just got this eh, it's got a big front wheel makes it awesome it's got a raked out front end makes it awesome this gap right here though between the motor and the backbone and the down tubes and the cross member and everything i mean it just looks it just looks awesome right the motor is gray but it might not stay that way for very long and i mean these were chrome when they were new but we bought it this way somebody blacked them out somebody blacked this out they were chrome this is what i was talking about on the back end we moved the license plate, we removed the tail light, and we put these different tail lights on, which are blinkers, stop, and here I'll turn the blinkers on. No hazard lights, I think that's kind of weird, but now this is a shaft driven bike. There's no belt, it's shaft driven. It is water cooled, it's got a five speed, and we put those on. And we put the LED headlight in it. I mean the the fenders are plastic. The tank is metal. I mean it's just it's just it's an awesome awesome bike. I mean you, look at this where you sit on it. Look at it. It just it does the the perfect. I mean if you are considering one, if you already have one, you know. But if you're considering one, I don't see any problem with it. I had to order some mirrors for it too. I think it looks good without the mirrors, but it kind of stinks. You know what? Maybe I should get a bar end mirror just for the left side, maybe. Because I like the look of it like this with no mirrors. that's that's the fury i mean that is it's just it's an awesome bike it is fun to ride it's fun to brag about it's it's an all-around great bike be a good first bike it'll be a good only bike it'll be a good bike for your kids it'll be a good bike for your wife because that's the reason why we bought this one was for my wife but everybody if you like this video hit the like button if you want to see more stuff like this subscribe Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool and we will see you on the road.